Hello, is Robert there? Uh, yeah, this is him. Robert, this is Paul. I'm a local realtor. I specialize in properties coming off the uh, off the market. I saw a home on uh, Golden oh, Arrow. God. Yeah, no, I know it's I know it's a hassle. Are you still the owner? Yes. Yeah, and yeah. The person was called about it. Jeez, I was yeah, I was wondering if you'd still consider to sell. Uh, I mean, it, it, yeah, we could. Obviously, it hasn't been the case so far. No, I know with a lot of phone calls, it, it can be frustrating. So I'm, I'm glad to hear you're still considering to sell. Did you get any offers previously at 425,000? No, no, nothing that was even, no. None? None? Get any offers. Wow, what, what, why did your last agent say it didn't sell? Uh, he really didn't say much. I mean, he just you know, wanted me to keep lower in the price, mm -hmm. lower in the price. And, you know, that's, that, that's not it. That's what right. he ever said. Guys, so lower the price, lower the price. How, how'd you happen to pick that last agent anyways, Robert? Uh, you know what? So I got a flyer in the mail. Gave uh, him a call. And, okay. You know, that's how I found it. Gotcha. So uh, he'd sent some some mail, and then you figured maybe you'd give him a, a shot. What do you think should have been done to get the property sold? That's a good question. I mean, I, that's your job. Right. <laughs> right? It sh and well, it should have been his job. I agree with you. This is such a great area. I'm looking at the, the property here. It looks like a great house. Where were you headed to next when it sold? Uh, we got to be in California. We got uh, got a job transfer. I start on February first. Okay. And, uh, you know, we've already got our place down there, and essentially, we're just waiting this out. I got to be gone on January thirty first. So I'm leaving after the holidays. Wow. There, and then my my wife's gonna follow us tow, but we got to get this thing sold first. Okay. So obviously, timing's important. When's a great time to uh, come over and at least talk about it and look at your options? I can come over uh, this evening at uh, four or five, or does six or 6.30 maybe work better? You know what, we're, my wife's really frustrated. Just go ahead and email me everything. Just, you know, let me know what you're thinking. Of course. Yeah, no, absolutely. I, obviously, I can email you the information, Robert, and at the same time, getting a good look at your house. I mean, if I have a buyer that's willing to make an offer by tomorrow, then um, we can talk about it today, right? Um, do you have a buyer? Well, let's, let me get a look, good look at the property. Cause here's the thing that I understand. I mean, you're not going to do anything unless it makes sense for you. Correct? Of course. Yeah. Okay, great. So what I'll do, Robert, is I'll come over, I'll take a good look at the property and I'll know if any of the buyers with Berkshire Hathaway, uh, are interested in the property or maybe interested. And at the least I can give you the information that you need so you can make a decision that's best for you. Uh, cause like you said, you, you're not going to do anything unless it makes sense for you. Right? No, of course not, yeah. Okay, so I can come over at four, or does six work better? Uh, you know what, we're not around today, maybe tomorrow will be better. Okay. You can email me, and then I'll take a look at it, and then, you know, obviously I can call back for that. But, well, definitely, I can, I can, email, I can definitely email you, because it sounds like uh, you need to get a look at the information and digest it before you come to any quick decisions. Is that what I hear you saying? Yeah, of course. Okay, good. So here, I'll, I'll do one better than that. I'll make sure a package with the information's hand delivered today and you guys can get a, a good look at it and figure out uh, if I might be able to help. Is it okay to send that? Yeah, that will work. Okay, great. And then once you guys get a look at that, obviously there'll be questions and concerns on, on what to do uh, and, and new information in regards to causing your home to sell. You want to see that, right? Yeah, of course. Okay, and what I can do is, um, you guys are usually home together after four or five, or when are you guys usually together? Uh, afternoons are best for me. Okay, so if we tentatively penciled you in for four o'clock for tomorrow, uh, you guys got to look at that. Obviously, you talk to your wife, because I know you probably need to talk to her before you make any decisions, right? Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah, and then uh, I pop in tomorrow at four. I'll call you tomorrow morning to make sure four o'clock still works. Is that unreasonable? No, that, that, that's reasonable. Okay, great. So I'm going to have that package delivered to you today. I'll call you in the morning around the same time as we're talking right now and then uh, confirm that four o'clock still works. And Robert, listen, I know with timing being of the essence, it's real important that I don't waste your time. So I'll be sure that we go over the information that you need and then you can figure out what's best for you. Sound fair? Well, sounds fair. Great.
Great. I appreciate your time, buddy. I'll talk to you soon. Uh, I Take a look for that uh, package. It'll be there by noon, all right? Perfect. Thanks, Paul. Great. Thanks so much, Robert. I appreciate your time. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye.